We have a lot of great water chemistry expertise and can help with, with just about every water treatment technology available to figure out how to, you know, what are the right technologies and to figure out how to implement them well. But one of the things we, we, we've done in recent years is we've developed some passive technologies to deal with some of the same metals contamination issues that more expensive, harder to operate active facilities have been used in the past. This is a real differentiator, especially in the mining business where mines go through life cycles where you, you, know, you develop a mine, then you operate it for a number of years, then once the ore is depleted, you close it. And when you close it, you now have a, an asset that doesn't produce any revenue for you. So you don't want to have a bunch of operating costs tied with operating facilities when you're not making any money on the mine itself. And mines are different than any other industry in that, in a lot of cases, the water continues to flow from the mine after it's closed. If you're looking at a refinery or a factory, you close the factory down, the water stops. But when you close a mine, the water doesn't necessarily stop. And so you have a lot of companies and a lot of mines that have to treat water pretty much in perpetuity to continue to meet environmental regulations. So these passive approaches where you use wetlands, you use gravel bed reactors, submerged rock um, bioreactors are really, you know, they're effective at removing contaminants and they don't require a lot of operator attention. So that's a real differentiator for Geosyntec.